It really depends on how old you are, because if you're a growing fetus, then you're gonna have different internal belly button anatomy than you would if you are one month or older. And that's because when you hit that one month age range, the blood vessels that used to go through the belly button, the umbilical cord, and into the placenta have detached from the inside of your belly button and obliterated, becoming completely separate pieces or structures. It's a really cool process that we'll have to detail in a future video. But that means if you are one month or older, which I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you probably are older than one month, you have the same anatomy as everyone else. And so let's go ahead and take a look at it here with this cadaver dissection. This is what we call a chest plate. And a chest plate allows you to see a bunch of the abdominal anatomy as well as the sternal and some of the rib anatomy. So it's a really cool uh, thing to look at here. You're also gonna notice that we have removed all of the integumentary system or the skin, except for this right here, which is the belly button or the umbilicus. Now the reason for leaving it behind is because it allows you to see some of the depth of the tissues in this terms of, see this yellow stuff? This yellow stuff is going to be adipose tissue. So you can now see how much adipose tissue could potentially be between the musculoskeletal system and the integumentary system or your skin. Now the next thing to take note of is all this white stuff here. This is called the rectus sheath. And it's just a bunch of connective tissue that completely surrounds this muscle that we've kind of revealed on this side called the rectus abdominis. And this gets all of its connective tissueiness from several different layers that all just completely envelop it. And they meet in the dead center in this white line here called the linea alba. And I said white line on purpose because linea alba literally means white line. This is all some really cool anatomy, but the thing is we all have that anatomy. We've all seen this type of stuff before. So let's go ahead and take a look on the other side. And you can see that on the other side of your belly button, it's pretty much just sealed off with different types of tissues. So you're gonna see, or what I'm rather what I'm touching here is called the parietal peritoneum. And then deep to that is gonna be some extra peritoneal fat. So there's actually gonna be multiple layers here that are all acting to seal off the belly button from the inside. Because remember, there used to be blood vessels, but those blood vessels detached, obliterated, and became completely different structures. So you had to seal it off from the inside, and that's exactly what you see here. So I don't know if this is anticlimactic or not, but what's on the other side of the belly button? Connective tissue, just sealing the whole area off. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be the first to see all of our videos as they come out. We have new merchandise. All you gotta do is just look below in our Teespring shop as well as in the comment pinned below us. But as always, thank you for watching. We appreciate all of your feedback. So if you do have ideas for us to do for future videos, be sure to leave that in the comments below. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.